Uh, we've been watching them clear the snow in Rudeau. So just look at, uh, you know, some of the uh, little, I guess, flower pots there on the street side and uh, uh, some of those little things. Uh, they look to be pretty healthily snow covered. Uh, it looks like it was a four or five inch snowfall in Rudeau. So overnight, 21 in Rudeau. So too, so that snow has got some sticking power. What's left of the storm system is over south and eastern New Mexico. Got temperatures at or below freezing. Uh, not that it's windy like it was yesterday, but when it's below freezing, you notice these little mini breezes, five to 10. These are feels like numbers wind chills as you step out the door and while well, below freezing statewide and a lot of us have feels like numbers down in the teens. It feels like it's below zero in Taos and it feels like seven degrees in Las Vegas. Now tracking what's left of the snow. We were just watching some of these last bursts here through Valencia and Socorro County completely wind down on that stretch of I-25. Uh, snow hasn't completely ended in the vicinity of TRC and that's a real hilly stretch. We do have some snow showers flying around area New Mexico and in the Hatch Valley and over in eastern New Mexico. Here's where snow showers uh, are, are steadier and at their heaviest Vaughn Fort Sumner over towards Clovis and the heaviest snow in the state right now is falling directly on top of Lake Tatum, uh, Lovington and Hobbs. Uh, we are going to watch this storm system release its grip by about midday. We do expect some afternoon and evening redevelopment here over the northern mountains and perhaps here for Albuquerque's East Mountain communities. And this snow is going to continue into the overnight, uh, maybe recoating the ground with a fresh inch or two, and that could set the stage for another round of school delays tomorrow morning in a couple spots. Uh, between now and lunchtime, additional snow accumulation from our storm system one to two inches out east. Uh, we have a midday lull, and then look at the snow redevelopment here. Another one to two inches from the Sangre de Cristos in the Estancia Valley, and perhaps for Albuquerque's East mountain communities that's going to be possible this evening and overnight could be on the ground as we wake up tomorrow morning. Uh, here's our forecast high temperatures. The numbers are about 10 below average here even by late January standards and these uh, 30s and 40s will come with enough wind to have it feeling like 20s and 30s with the wind chill. So this is going to be a cold one.